the genuine article. Discussion and commentary based on articles from Jack. Hello, I'm Tony DeMaria, the editor of Jack, here with another edition of Inside Jack, and here to discuss with me the important question about how much clopidogrel should be used as a maintenance dose in patients after PCI is Dr. Giuseppe Patti, and Dr. Patti is assistant professor of medicine at the Biomedical University in Rome and one of the important members of the Armida study group. So Giuseppe, tell us a little bit about your study. Um, previous studies uh, demonstrated that a high clopidogrel maintenance dose of 150 mg per day uh, are, uh, is associated with a um, stronger platelet inhibition. But in our uh, Armida 150 study, we explored the issue of whether the high clopidogrel maintenance dose, in addition to stronger antiplatelet effect and uh, a reduction of low responder patients, may exert anti-inflammatory effects or may also improve endothelial function in patients undergoing PCI. So as I recall your protocol, uh, what you did was wait a month and then give uh, double the dose with a uh, 30-day crossover. Yeah. Tell us what you found. We found that, as expected, we found that uh, patients receiving the high clopidogrel maintenance dose uh, showed um, increase in uh, platelet inhibition and uh, uh, patients with low response to the drug were reduced. But uh, uh, with regard to anti-inflammatory, possible anti-inflammatory effect and pro-endothelial effect of the high clopidogrel maintenance dose, we found that uh, use of the uh, high clopidogrel maintenance dose was associated with a, two, a significant two-fold uh, increase in flow mediated dilation and uh, was also associated with a, a significant 42% uh, um, uh, absolute reduction of patients with uh, uh, impairment of uh, flow mediated dilation as indicated by, the, uh, by, by FMD flow mediated dilation below the cutoff of 7%. And finally, we the, found that the high clopidogrel maintenance dose was associated with significant anti-inflammatory effect with a significant two-fold reduction of C-reactin protein levels and significant 18 absolute reduction of patient with persistent high levels of C-reactin protein above the cutoff of 3 mg per liter. Well, these are very impressive findings to, to reduce uh, inflammation, to enhance endothelial function. So there's a suggestion of a pleiotropic effect, uh, clopidogrel perhaps even unrelated to its antiplatelet effect. Seeing this, do you feel that patients now all should receive 100 milligram, 150 milligram uh, clopidogrel maintenance? I believe that uh, our uh, data uh, should be uh, considered in light of uh, recent investigation demonstrated that uh, um, patients with uh, endothelial dysfunction after uh, PCI may have a significantly higher risk of instant in stenosis after bone metal stent implantation or um, endothelial dysfunction may predispose to stent thrombosis after drug eluting stent implantation. Moreover, uh, it is now well known that uh, the uh, a high inflammatory status may uh, be correlated with an adverse outcome during follow-up after PCI and uh, uh, lowering of, of this, uh, this inflammatory status may favorably impact the prognosis. Uh, thus, I believe that uh, um, uh, patients with uh, um, a persistently high platelet reactivity 
uh, after standard clopidogrel doses, but uh, patients with, in addition, have endothelial dysfunction or high inflammatory stat status might derive a significant clinical benefit from administration of uh, 150 50 milligram per day clopidogrel doses. Well, that's really fascinating, using endothelial dysfunction and, and elevation of CRP as perhaps an indication for an alternate dose. I guess one of the limitations of your study is that it was all surrogate endpoints. Uh, you you yeah. don't have yeah. data on uh, it's hard outcomes like yeah, infarction. Yeah, yeah. but um, in fact, uh, uh, this is right. In fact, uh, our uh, um, study was uh, uh, not a study powered to identify uh, a clinical benefit in terms of reduction of ischemic events or in terms of uh, a possible evaluation of an increased risk with the high clopidogrel maintenance dose. But uh, um, I believe that our study may be an hypothesis generating study uh, which uh, should be confirmed in the ad hoc larger, larger clinical prospect studies. Absolutely. Uh, we were fascinated. Uh, it's really an excellent hypothesis to assess endothelial function, to assess inflammation, and then to gauge your, your clopidogrel and or other antiplatelet therapy. Very interesting. And I'm going to bet that the all-Italian Armida group <laughs> will be one of the study groups that gives us that answer. For Inside Jack, I'm Tony DeMaria.